coming to you from Los Angeles, California. This is EA Play Live 2021. I'm your host, WWE superstar Xavier Woods, AKA Austin Creed, and we have an amazing show for you today. We've got world premiere gameplay, exclusive first looks, including a brand new multiplayer experience for Battlefield 2042, and a few more surprises they won't even let me tease. Plus, just like last year, we've got some amazing prizes to give away. So keep an eye out throughout the show for hidden letters. They'll spell out a secret code that you'll need at the end of the show if you want a chance to win Polaris gear, Logitech gadgets, and thousands of codes for great EA games, including Mass Effect Legendary Edition, Dirt 5, and more. So let's get to it! has long played home to fan favorite racing titles from Need for Speed to Burnout to Real Racing. And now that the experts at Codemasters are joining the EA family, that incredible lineup just got supercharged with the addition of franchises like Grid, Dirt, Project Cars, and F1. So if you like racing, if you like being in the driver's seat, you're gonna love what Codemasters has cooked up for us today. But first, let's take a quick look at what they do best. Joining us now from London is Codemasters senior game designer, Becky Crossdale. Welcome, Becky. Hey, Austin. Hey, now I heard that you might have a little surprise for us today. Yes, I do, and I don't know if you can tell, Austin, but I am so excited because on behalf of the entire Codemasters team, this is the world premiere trailer for Grid Legends. Ten teams, dozens of drivers, only one can become champion. My name is Yume Tanaka. My goal is to become the first woman ever to win the championship. They know who I am. I'm Nathan McCain, five-time Grid Series world champion. Soon to be six times. Well, that's a new record. If it's grid legal, I can build it to win. Touring cars, muscle cars, open wheel, drift. Best team, best car. Win by having the money, by having the guts. These idiots can't keep their cars on the track. It's their problem. But when you keep pulling up there, that stops. But you're gonna get somebody hurt. Hopefully, it'll be you. Bring it on, baby. That's why we're here. Becky, this this looks incredible. On top of the gameplay and the cars and the environments, now we've got all these characters that seem to have different motivations. I'm already incredibly invested. It looks like you guys are really up in the ante on storytelling. Well, first of 
first and foremost, the Grid series has always been about delivering gameplay excellence. And with Grid Legends, you are still getting that same immersive racing experience that you know and love. But this time we are taking things up a notch and we're adding another layer on top of that. We are really proud of this new story mode. Well, I, I do love a good story. And I feel like I've seen a lot of those faces somewhere before. Yeah, we had the absolute pleasure of working with the incredibly talented Shuti Gatwa, who plays the wonderful Eric in Netflix's Sex Education. We also captured the entire thing using Extended Reality, or XR, where if you've been watching Disney's The Mandalorian, you will have seen that tech in action. It's what they used to create those incredible worlds. <laughs> well, it, it sounds amazing, but this obviously isn't racing in space, right? No. We are using this tech to draw you further into this racing experience. We really want to bring you deeper into the grid world than ever before. It's also been really great for our actors because they're acting against something that's visually there. It's not the same as green screen or motion capture. They are stepping into our grid world and reacting with it. It sounds great. Can you give us any hints on the story or would that be spoilers? Without any spoilers, um, we are giving you a classic underdog tale. We are putting you straight into the driver's seat, right in the middle of the Grid World Series, where you'll be facing off against the all-dominant Raven West team. That is a team that does not like to share the tarmac. Mm. And for the rest of the story, well, you just have to wait and see. <laughs> but let's talk gameplay. Uh, we saw a new big range of vehicles in that trailer. Can you talk about those a little bit? Oh yeah, there are so many vehicles. We are giving you big rigs, stadium trucks, drift cars, open wheelers, muscle cars, electric cars. We are giving you hyper cars like the Aston Martin Valkyrie. Have you seen that car? <laughs> and we are also giving you multi-class mixed racing, which means that you can take any of those cars and put them together on the same track. Well, I just saw a big rig take out an open wheeler in the trailer and I, I, I love it. So is there anything else that you can tell us about Grid Legends? Without giving too much away, there is a ton of new stuff for the fans to sink their teeth into, including some new uh, modes such as boost mode and elimination mode. Uh, we've also got some fancy new locations like the iconic city of Moscow. Uh, we've also got the beautiful city of London as well. So you can drive right past Buckingham Palace or you could travel to the stunning Strada Alpina and take one of our beautiful hypercars to its limit. All right, well, you heard it here first. Storytelling and extended reality, mixed class racing, new modes, new locations. This is beyond exciting. So Becky, thank you so much for your time. No, thank you, Austin. Of course. All right, folks, so we're just getting started. We've seen Grid Legends, and now it's time for a different breed of legend. Two years ago, Apex Legends came out of nowhere. And now 100 million players and 17 legends later, it just keeps getting bigger. We've got more modes, more maps, more platforms for play, and of course, more legends. So what's next for Apex? Well, today, we have answers. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you Apex Legends Emergence. Change. I see it in everything. I see it in a boy rocked by tragedy. Transform his pain and defy reality. I see it in the warrior who must choose between their new life and the annihilation of their home. I see it in a girl. Tortured by revenge, embrace hope when love awakens her heart. I see it in me. A boy born under a bad omen. Turn his tail into a legend. Change is relentless. But that does not mean it cannot be beautiful. Adapt. 
surrender and embrace your true nature. Know that you are not alone. Change comes for us all. and burn its brightest. Change. Fight it and fall. Accept it and rise above. I'm standing here like slack jawed watching this because there's so much to unpack from that trailer. So let's go ahead and meet the man with all the answers, Apex game director, Chad Grenier. So happy to have you here, Chad. Thanks, Austin. Happy to be here. Uh, before we get started and get into it, I want to give a shout out to the amazing developers at Respawn. Hey. All right, well, a subset of them. Uh, if you love Apex, it's because of these amazing developers that are working hard uh, creating Apex Legends for us. <laughs> <laughs> well, big love to the whole Respawn team, especially whoever came up with Lifeline, because that's my girl! But okay, there's a lot for us to talk about, but you know I'm geeked about Seer, so can you tell us some more about his abilities? I saw this man stare through walls, he's got drones coming out of his chest. Please tell me about his kit. Yeah, similar to Bloodhound, Seer is all about tracking enemies, but in a different way and has a very unique kit. So while you're aiming down the sights, you'll have a heartbeat sensor that will give you hints as to where an enemy might be. If you think you've located them, you can use your tactical, which sends out some of those drones out of your chest and will actually reveal and track the enemy's location. The ultimate is really powerful, especially in certain gameplay situations. You can send out hundreds of micro drones and create a sphere around an area that you choose and all enemies that are moving quickly through that space are tracked. I love when there's new abilities that kind of change the game because this game obviously is always changing, always evolving, and whenever there's a new legend, there's always an interesting shift in the meta. So with those incredible abilities, how do you think that Seer is going to change the game? Yeah, again, I mentioned Bloodhound also as a tracker, um, but unlike Bloodhound, Seer is about very precise and lingering information. So he's a bit more of a stealth-oriented legend, and you're gonna see, I think, some interactions because of that sphere I mentioned, his ultimate. If you're moving quickly through that space, your footsteps are revealed. Ah. Uh, but now if you're walking slowly, you can avoid the, the detection. And so I think you'll see some interesting gameplay experiences and new ways to play you know, um, with slowing it down a bit. Yeah, it sounds like once the ring gets tight especially, you're gonna have a lot of new ways to play this game. Um, but this past season, for instance, it felt like Apex really moved beyond Battle Royale with the introduction of arenas. So what's the reaction been like for you guys? The fan reaction has been really great. Uh, we're seeing a lot of players enjoy arenas, which is, which is awesome. We're really excited to finally have a way to play Apex Legends beyond Battle Royale. And uh, yeah, people are loving it. So we've got new maps in the works and uh, some other things come in. I don't want to you know, talk about just yet, but we've got a lot planned for arenas. All right, fair, fair. Well, I do know that you guys announced ranked arenas are coming as well. So can you give us some information on that? Yep, so we've got one season of arenas under our belts now. We wanted to make sure that uh, we were seeing how players were adapting to the mode, make sure to get the balance right, make sure that the, the price and the economy is correct, and now we'll be introducing the ranked mode in Emergence. So it's a bit of a different ranked system than we have in, in the Battle Royale mode, so we're really excited for you to get your hands on it. Well, it's yeah. really cool to see Apex always doing new things, like for instance, uh, leaning into the competitive scene with things like the Apex Legends Global Series. So are we gonna see more of the ALGS? Absolutely. We just ended year one of ALGS, our championships recently, 
concluded and it was amazing. There's like so many tactics and amazing plays in there. Many teams were fighting for the championship in the last round. We hit record numbers, so we're really excited in September to be kicking off year two of the LGS. And for the first time, we're gonna be inviting PlayStation and Xbox players to compete alongside the PC players, really see who's best, and an all new league format. So um, we have more information at playapex.com slash ALGS. Well, I am beyond looking forward to it. And Chad, before you go, I have to ask, when can we see more from Seer? We've got an awesome gameplay trailer coming on Monday, and Emergence drops on August 3rd. And for now, I can show you a finisher. Of course, please, <laughs> please. This game demands so much of us. But from you, she demands everything. Yeah, that's, that's all I need to see. <laughs> it's just, it's so awesome. But Chad, thank you so much for being here. Thanks, Austin. Of course, of course. And again, big shout out to the whole Respawn team. Now for the Apex fans watching us on Twitch today, Respawn is hooking you up with an exclusive Jumpmaster gun charm. So make sure you've got your Twitch and EA account linked and keep watching the show to earn that drop. But that's not the only thing we're giving out today. Keep an eye out for the hidden letters that spell out a secret phrase because at the end of the show, we'll give you a link where you can enter that code for your chance to win some great prizes, including codes for EA originals like Knockout City and It Takes Two. So speaking of originals, let's head across the ocean for some stop motion and check out a soon to be released EA original, Lost in Random. And just like that, young Austin found himself introducing a new segment. Hello? He stalled, bewildered by the voice coming from somewhere unknown. Somewhere random. Uh, okay. All right, anyway, uh, it's coming soon and it looks really cool. Austin stopped himself. Why, he'd forgotten to mention the Tribeca Film Festival selection. It was a selection at the Tribeca Film Festival. He tried the line again, more enthusiastically. Look, man, I'm trying to run a whole show. More enthusiastically, really selling it. Could you just let me intro the segment? Thank you. <clears throat> it was an official Tribeca Film Festival selection this summer and it's coming soon. Joining us from Gothenburg, Sweden, to tell us more is Zoink creative director Olav Redmo. Hello, Austin. <laughs> How's it going, Olav? Thank you so much for joining us, and congratulations on Tribeca. It's so cool to see video games right next to movies being regarded as they should be. Thank you, Austin. I I'm so proud of the Zoink team and what we've accomplished, and I I'm so happy about the selection because Lost in Random is really inspired by all these movies that I grew up with and stop-motion animation and dark fairy tales. And, and at Zoink, we're always trying to push narrative in video games, so I I'm so happy, yeah. Well, I, I can't wait to see more Olaf of my life. What do you have for us today? I'm super pleased to share a first look at one of our most unique aspects of Lost in gameplay, Dice Battle, which is an exciting explosive blend of real-time action and time stop tactics, where every roll of the dice unleashes incredible powers out of the head of your jack-in-the-box buddy, Dicey. Well, it sounds awesome, so let's take a look. Once upon a time, there were two devoted sisters named Even and Ord. Cruelly separated by an evil queen and the roll of a dice. Ah, I'm coming! Together with this little fella, Even was determined to rescue her beloved sister. In this strange and fascinating world of random, adventure and combat go hand in hand. And many peculiar characters await. Some will help. You mean this one? And some won't. That's against the rules. Oh, sure. A little girl with a dice. 
Those coins can be traded for cards. Cards, cards, I got cards here, the greatest cards in the land. Ooh, cards contain new attacks, abilities, and more. All of which come in handy during dice battle. Ready, Dicey? Even uses her slingshot to attack deadly foes. This can knock off energy cubes used to feed her strange companion, Dicey. And once fully charged, even can roll Dicey and freeze time itself? Let's see how she uses it. Oh, impressive. Well done, even. <laughs> nice. Ooh, that was a good one. Even's quest would take her across all six realms of random. Even must roll the dice and play the odds. But just a chance at saving her sister. The random rules. Long may she reign. Dicey! Shh, my child. Your sister. Just from that alone, I already need to play this game. It looks so cool, uh, but what can you tell me about these, these combat cards that we're seeing? Cards are just one part of dice battle, but I love the way they look, so I brought a few examples to show off. Oh, okay, awesome. What are we looking at here, then? So, as you saw, cards can be selected during combat that unleash new powers and abilities, like this one, for instance, Explosive Dice, which turns Dicey into this ticking time bomb. You just gotta be careful so it doesn't blow you up. <laughs> Keep your distance. <laughs> And where's this hammer of two lets you summon a giant hammer, which also gives even super strength to be able to swing it around. Offensive maneuvers, I like it. But it's not just about offense. Like, we have also, for instance, Uma's Blessing, which comes from Uma, this old hidden witch. And she provides a bubble shield to protect even. And that's just a taste. Like, there's a lot of different powers at your disposal. Some curse enemies, some heal even or create traps. Some arenas also work as giant board games affected by rolling dicey. So you're gonna have to try different tactics to conquer the queen's giant, mad, tabletop-themed arenas. All right, Olav, obviously, my next question, you know it's coming, when can we play this game? Yeah, my favorite question. Lost in Random releases on September 10th on PC, console, and Nintendo Switch. And you can pre-order starting right after the show. Yes. Uh, ooh, and if you want a dicey companion of your own, he'll be available to EA Play members as a gun charm in one of my current favorites, Apex. So keep an eye out for that. Well, you all heard it here first. And Olav, thank you so much for joining us today. It has been my absolute pleasure, Austin, and welcome to Random. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> well, there you have it. Lost in Random is coming soon, but there's another EA original that's already here. And it's bringing that throwback playground heat to the masses. That's right. I'm talking about Knock Out City. Uh-oh. Uh oh, okay. Mm. Oh. Oh. Woo! <laughs> Dropped earlier this year, Knock Out City has had one hell of a summer, and they're just getting warmed up. Here with more is Karthik Bala from Velen Studios in New York. Thanks, Austin. We're so grateful to our community for the massive response to Knockout City. With millions of new brawlers, hundreds of thousands of crews, and nearly a billion KOs landed, your response has really been a knockout. As an indie team dedicated to taking creative risks, having all of you embrace this unique thing we've made is an amazing feeling. And I just want to say thank you. At launch, we promised you new features and updates that keep the game fresh and exciting. Today, I'm here to deliver on that promise. On behalf of the whole Velen Studios team, it's my absolute thrill to present Knockout City Season 2, Fight at the Movies. In a world of chaos, where mayhem rules the streets, is anyone strong enough to stop the unstoppable? <laughs> A world where one hero rises to meet instant regret. 
A world where lovers chase their passions and feel the burn. A world where terror lurks high above. Where warriors fight for Dodge Brawl supremacy. And teensy tiny brawlers battle it out in a child's bedroom? This season, bring your moves to the movies. Coming July 20... <coughs> oh man, that voice is murder on the pipes. The Hollywood Drive-In opens July 27th. We'll see you at the movies. It's showtime. Mm-hmm, you saw it. We got new skins. We got a new ball. Knockout City, baby! Season two arrives July 27th. And remember, you can play for free up to street rank 25, so get in. You might come across me and my crew. We're called that baseline. You won't beat us because we're really good, but you'll have fun. And right now, it's available on all platforms with crossplay. So if you haven't yet, go ahead and get in there and give it a whirl. <sighs> all right, everyone. The moment that you have been waiting for is here. <gasps> You've seen the trailers. You've read the hot takes, and you already know that Battlefield is back, baby! You hear me? It's back! Battlefield is back, baby! It's Battlefield! I can't wait to wingsuit Surfer Tornado. This game is gonna be so good. And in just a moment, we're revealing a brand new Battlefield 2042 experience. But first, for those who haven't been paying attention, here's what you've been missing out on. God, these maps. That's so cool. That's the coolest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> this is awesome. Do it. Wait, Sue. On behalf of our entire team, we hope you're thrilled with what you've seen so far from Battlefield 2042. But this is just the beginning. We have so much more to show you. Battlefield 2042 is built up by three epic experiences. Firstly, of course, All Out Warfare that we showed you earlier. Secondly, Hazard Zone that we'll show off later this year. And now, a new community-driven experience that we're happy to share with you today. Built by our old friends over at Triple Effect, formerly Dice LA, it's an experience designed from community feedback. It's an experience we've dreamt about building for over a decade. So, let's have a look.
This looks incredible. There's so many crazy things happening in this trailer. We got knives versus defibrillators. We got soldiers from every era. I have so many questions. So let's bring on an expert. Here to help us out is the general manager of Ripple Effect. We've got Christian Grass. Welcome, Christian. Hey, Austin. Thanks for having me. Super excited to be here. Of course. Thank you for being here. Now, that trailer, absolutely Ridiculous, like what the hell did we just see? So what you just saw was the Battlefield Portal. It's a new community-driven experience that gives players the freedom to write their own rules and shape their own battlefield. You can mix and match content from Battlefield 1942, Bad Company 2, BF3, and Battlefield 2042 to create brand new game modes. Then you can share and discover those on the Portal platform. And that's just what's coming at launch. This is a real love letter to the fans from our incredible team. And oh, oh, and this is your squad. Yes, this is the fantastic Ripple Effect team, and they deserve all the credit in the world for creating this great experience. We've had so much fun bringing back some of the most beloved vehicles, gadgets, weapons, and maps from past titles. Well, thank you all. Huge, huge credit to this amazing team and everyone who's made Battlefield 2042 possible. All right, so to bring it back, when you say beloved maps, we're we talking Caspian Border? Yes. Arika Harbor? Yes. El Alamein. Yes, El Alamein is also included. It's actually my all-time favorite map. Plus, we have Noshar Canal, Battle of the Bulge, and Valparaiso. And, of course, all seven of the new epic-scale maps already announced for 2042, they're also playable in Portal. I love it. I love it. But this is more than just maps, right? Absolutely. Portal is a chance for the community to drive the platform. There's a whole slate of customization options and even an advanced logic editor for you to play around with. Tools that were previously only available to us on the development team. So that trailer, it was just packed with a ton of crazy moments. So I'm curious, how wild can we actually get with Portal? You can get pretty wild. Yeah? Okay, so can I pit World War II against 2042? Yes. You can. Oh, okay, uh, what about game modes? Can I make an infection mode where it's me against a ton of super fast soldiers with knives? Absolutely. Okay, uh, what about shoddy snipes? But, but, but not just regular shoddy snipes, like, like, like a gun game with a whole bunch of shoddy snipes from all throughout history. That is a very specific idea there, Austin, but yes, actually you can. <sighs> Batten three for three, bring it home. Can I play as a penguin with a flamethrower? A penguin with a flamethrower? Yeah. No, I mean, look, there are some limits. It's not a level editor. You can't edit the maps themselves. And no, you can't play as a penguin with a flamethrower. All right, that's, that's fine. That's fine, I had to ask. But it does sound like there's a ton to play around with. Oh, yes. The options are pretty deep, and we're committed to working with the community to build out this suite of tools and content as the game evolves. We want this experience to go where you want to take it. We see the sandbox as a big part of the future of Battlefield 2042. Well, I assume that the community is going to have a field day with this. I really hope players will embrace Portal. Uh, that's who we built it for. Uh, in fact, we gave a sneak peek to a few members of the community to see what they could come up with. Oh, okay. I assume my invitation got lost in the mail, but that's fine. That's fine. Let's check it out. Two teams and two VIPs, but only one way to score. This is VIP Fiesta by Courage. It's the US factions of Battlefield 3 and Bad Company 2 facing off on Arica Harbor with 24 players and random loadouts. Die and you'll redeploy with an all new loadout. Track down that enemy VIP and make it camp. Or bring the power of 2042 to Caspian border and take on the forces of 1942. This is Quality versus Quantity by Gabitron. small squad from 2042 are taking on 32 players from 1942. The future's got the hardware, but the past's got the numbers. Destroy those MCOMs. But do it before your tickets are up. You're not getting them back unless you clear the sector. Not enough memes? Fine. Set up on orbital for the fight of your lives with Robot Man by Redacted. 20 duck-sized EOD bots, one horse-sized T-91. Settle your battlefield debates on who wins what.
Come on, dude, robot man, what? This looks so much fun, but I need to know. Just pretend like the cameras aren't here, just me and you. Who's redacted? Can't tell you that, sorry. But what I can tell you is that we're so excited for the players to create or simply discover their favorite new way to play Battlefield. And we can't wait to explore and try out the thousands of experiences our community will build once they have the tools in their hands. And we get our hands on Portal at launch, right? Yes. Okay. Portal will be available at launch, day one, along with a bunch of pre-made modes for you to try right away. Okay, this is, this is fantastic. Now, Christian, before you go, let me make sure that I have all of this straight. So on top of all the content and maps that have already been announced, we also get content from Battlefield 1942, Bad Company 2, and Battlefield 3, including six of the best maps of all time, and all that can be sliced, diced, and mixed together in Portal, and then we still have Hazard Zone coming later this year? Yes, that's exactly what I'm telling you, Austin. If you've always been a fan, or if you've never played Battlefield before, we want Battlefield 2042 to be the ultimate Battlefield experience. Christian, just, just thank you. Thank you. My pleasure, Austin. I'll see you on the battlefield. <laughs> All right, so Portal looks incredible, and we could end things there, but I don't think we're done just yet. We're gonna leave you with one more surprise. First, though, you remember that secret code? I hope you were paying attention because all of the letters have been revealed. So if you wanna win some awesome games and gear, stick around because we're gonna give you the link to enter in just a second. But for now, come with me. I hope you've enjoyed the show as much as I've enjoyed being your host. Now, my name is Austin Creed, and our last reveal is somewhere in there. But you know what? Why don't you go first? <laughs>